solve the system of equations x plus y plus z equals 11, 3x minus 2y plus 4z equals 24, negative 2x plus 3y minus 5z equals negative 15. With this system of equations, I have three equations and three unknowns. So I need to first figure out how can I combine two of those to eliminate one of my variables. I want to eliminate either my z's, my y's, or my x's. In this case, let's try to eliminate our y's. So I'm going to take the first equation times 2 and the second equation times 1. That'll give me 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals 22. And then 1 times the second equation would give me 3x minus 2y plus 4z equals 24. Now when I add these two together, I notice that my y's drop out, which is what I wanted. So I have 5x plus 6z equals 46. Now let's combine not my first two, but my first and my third. So in this case, again, I want my y's to drop out. So in order for that to happen, I need to multiply negative 3 times my first equation and 1 times my second. That'll give me negative 3x minus 3y minus 3z equals negative 33. And 1 times my third would give me negative 2x plus 3y minus 5z equals negative 15. Now when I add these together, again, notice my y's drop out. So I'm left with negative 5x minus 8z equals negative 48. Well, from these two answers, I can rewrite a second system of equations that only has two equations, two unknowns. So 5x plus 6z equals 46, and negative 5x minus 8z equals negative 48. The nice thing is about this is my x's are already going to drop out because I have a positive 5x and a negative 5x. So combining these gives me negative 2z equals negative 2. Dividing both sides by negative 2, I find that z equals 1. So one of my variables is solved for. Well, I can use this value to find a second variable, in this case x, by taking 5x plus 6, and instead of the z, I'm going to use the 1, equals 46. So 5x plus 6 equals 46. And I can subtract a 6 from both sides. So 5x would equal 40. Dividing both sides by 5 gives me x equals 8. Well, now I have my x equals 8 and my z equals 1, two of the three variables. Now I can substitute both of these values into one of my original equations. In this case, I'm going to use my very first one, which was x plus y plus z equals 11. So instead of the x, I'll use 8 plus y plus z. But instead of the z, I'm going to use a 1 equals 11. So 9 plus y equals 11. Subtracting 9 from both sides gives me y equals 2. Well, now I found all three of my variables. So I can write my solution as 8, 2, 1. 